tau is a mathematical constant and it's equal to 2 pi, which means that it's equal to 6.283185. It's irrational, but pi is actually equal to 3.14159, and so it's just double. And because today is June 28th, we call it tau day. But what exactly is tau? So we know that pi is equal to the circumference of a circle divided by its diameter, because we know that the circumference is equal to 2 pi r, and these r's just become pi diameter. However, if we want to look at a circle, and instead of looking at its diameter, we want to look at 1 half, which is the radius, we can utilize tau. Tau is just the circumference divided by the radius. This new circle constant can just be solved in terms of d, just by finding 2c over d, because we know that radius is equal to d over 2. And if we substitute here, we just get 2 times the circumference divided by d. There are a lot of different applications of tau. For example, we can simplify the formula for circumference is equal to 2 pi r by just writing circumference is equal to tau r. Also, it makes it much easier to teach geometry because if we look at a circle, we know that one round around the circle will be equal to 2 pi, but 2 pi is actually equal to tau. When we say tau over 4 is actually one quarter of the circle, and tau over 2 is actually equal to one half of the circle. 2 pi also appears in many other applications, including Euler's identity, Cauchy's integral formula, in complex analysis, in Fourier transforms, and many, many more other equations, which make tau a good candidate for substitution to 2 pi. If we look at area formulas, we know that area is equal to pi r squared. However, if pi is equal to tau over 2, then we can substitute and just get tau r squared over 2. This isn't as elegant as this form, and so it's argued that this should be kept. However, what is interesting is that this tells us that the integral of the circumference, so it is equal to tau r, is actually equal to the area.